All right, hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this episode in the full clear series of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I am Jeff the Christian Gamer, and apparently this guy has decided to aggro me and uh, cannot hit me, except for the uh, growly, bitey thing that he did a little while ago. And um, yeah, I just found that funny. Anyway. Oh, okay, I get what was going on. He was still attacking me even though I uh, did not see his attack animation, he was able to hit me. Interesting. Just a little further to the oasis. Keep it together. Just let me dive in. Fight with focus. <laughs> I'll practically know this one by heart. I'll draw them. You're You too. Don't happen every day. Accurate statements. You're an asshole. What snuffing difference? Oh, I've got war in my ears now. Staying here, are you? I've got something to take care of. I'll send it to you now. A map. From the survey branch. Annihilation events occur frequently here. Annihilation events? You mean... Look. Matter and antimatter. That's what I would assume that was. It happens here too. Given our route, we should take the safest way possible. Very cautious of you. It's my duty to be. Thank you. Uh, sure.
correct muchly. <laughs> okay. Before we do that, I am going to go. Oh. Oh. Fine. Manana's battle soup, eh? Sounds yum. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. I've been feeling really pumped for the past while. Must be thanks to Manana's cooking. I always knew it was something special. These are worth a bit, right? Hmm? Whoa! Got a rare doodah right here. I'll just soak all this up. Hmm. I think we'll probably hit the mid 30s before we get to our first real, uh, first real sidebar quest where we get somebody else to join our party. Um,. No, no, it should be earlier than that. Hmm. At any rate, I'll go ahead and talk to this guy and get his coin. Or, not coin, his uh, marble. Oh, I can't get the marble? I 
Yes, I gotta go talk to Shilly Shilly then. Shilly Shilly then. Ooh. The tongue twisters abound when you haven't had enough sleep. Forgot all about this fight. Oh, 
Yeah, in general, for the early parts of the game, the only time that you have something, uh, have an attack that you want to use that's not the top attack is if you're really down on HP or something. So, yeah, that's not right now. Work makes the dream work.
We've got to practice our chain attacks more often. When they land, they really land. Let's dish them out whenever we can. Oh, by the way, um, one thing that I did not do here that I could have done was build up to a uh, Ouroboros ending. Um, the only people that have the ability to use Ouroboros are the main character and uh, Mio, uh, Noah and Mio, and so therefore I should have used their chain attacks. In fact, on the next longer battle, I'll see if I can't make that happen, so you guys can see it in action early on. If not, then we will uh, uh, try to make it happen later in the game when we are fighting a boss creature or something of the like. Guess now we've left the army, we've got to handle stuff like this ourselves. It's a tough break, but we'll just have to take things as they come. Uh. <laughs> okay. Wanting one of those. Right, all done. Want to try it out? All right. <clears throat> Flammo bones. I did not kill any of the flam uh, flammies in the uh, in the lake, which I probably should have. Let's see. Quad wing. I, I think we've only seen like one quad wing this whole game, and I could not reach it to get it. So, all right. There's a whole bunch of stuff we we could use. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get the ones that are most useful to uh, me and my play style. So what I normally go for is the auto attack interval, um, strike twice per auto attack, and then, uh, let me see. Uh, and then analyze weakness for our DPS. For the healers, we're gonna have Soothing Breath, Life-Saving Expertise, and uh, Life Bearer. Although a good secondary is uh, Swelling Blessing, because that is one that allows you to get some serious uh, power out of your uh, buff attacks, like your auras on the ground and things like that. So, yeah. If you're not in a place where you need a lot of healing, then I would say go for that one. So these three for the healers. And then for the tanks, I go for, uh, well, depending on the type of tank, if it's an agility tank, I'll go for Tailwind. Um, if it's a blocking tank, I go for Steel Protection. And then 80%, um, oh, sorry, the Ultimate Counter. Uh, brimming spirit yeah so either one of these two depending on the type of tank 
and then these two as supplementals. So yeah, speaking of which, let's go ahead and get down to business. Oh, uh, they won't let me craft anymore. Okay, I had to come back in. <laughs> Okie doke. Now let's finish all the processes that we didn't get to, like leveling and such. Stop me. I definitely feel stronger. Okay, let's jump back into gym crafting here. Let's get the ones that we need. Auto attack interval shortening. Right. All done. And it also helps if you can to craft the highest level good, right? immediately so that you don't have to worry about um, wasting materials. Oh, there are classes where that is a very valuable uh, upgrade, 
but we will not see those classes until almost the end of the game, so yeah. I think my favorite part about gems in this game is that they are craftable and uh, equipable um, immediately by every character. So let's say you make ultimate counter two and you put it on one character, you can also put it on all of your characters and not have to worry about uh, having to craft more than one version of that gem. And I think that's the biggest and most effective change that they've made so far um, with respect to battling in this game. Oh, by the way, you can also use coins for your crafting, but um, I don't do That's that particularly often. Okay, good as new. All right, let's boogie. All right, let's get going. Time's a wasted. Need to equip all this fun stuff now. Uh, let's see. Actually, because you swing so slow with your weapon, we'll go ahead and shorten that auto attack interval. And you need block rate. And you need evasion. All right, let's boogie. Absolutely going to avoid that guy because he is basically insta death. We're unstoppable with you around. 
around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Was the MVP. All right. You were all thinking it. Uh, he noticed battles are much smoother now. Uh, gyms are a great way to leverage and increase the uh, already existing abilities of the characters you're fighting with. Topographical info update. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. The enemy is right. Over the paragon, Neo. You're dealing with me. Thanks for the support. Run over, guys. Yeah. MVP. You were all thinking it. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? It's special, isn't it? Your blade, I mean. Um... Sometimes one part of it glows. Why is that? Oh. You can tell. That's amazing. It's hard not to. Oh, right. Is it a secret? No. I can tell you.
Oh, my man. He still playing around with that little toy. Have you considered a knock-on weapon? You might actually get somewhere with that. Oi! You deaf or what, Noah? Garvel? Noah, this is bad. <laughs> Not even a peep. Don't need to pay us any attention. Oh, please. I wasn't ignoring you. Once I finish this set, we can chat. <gasps> well, what were you saying? Noah! For dead weight, you're a right snuffing peacock! You... you slippery little mudder! <laughs> well, anything else? You snuffing weakling! Blast it off! Oh, you get it now! Lance! Break it up now. Didn't know you could be so petty, Garvel. <laughs> Ain't got no time for this musclehead. Wanna say that again? Hm. We'll settle this properly in tomorrow's trial. Move it! <laughs> Noah, are you okay? Don't let it get to you. Guys like that are the first ones to snuff it in a real battle. No, I'm not worried about him. I really can't call my weapon, though. I worry I'll end up being a burden. Never thought that here, not even once. Thanks. Kind of you to say. It's just the truth. Where are you going? To visit Riku, since it broke. The trial, it's tomorrow. I'm gonna need a new weapon for that. What's this? Magic sword, lucky seven. In distant past were seven legendary swordsmith pawn. Over course of seven years, forged sword from seven types of steel. No other sword <laughs> like it in existing. Magic? Lucky seven? Let's. Please to give good cleave with blade and split clean in halves. Sure about that. Better not pull some, you break it, you bought it, sneaky sort of deal. Riku would never dream. Just put all of heft into mighty swing. Weird ask. Uh, sure. You want me to cut it? I'll cut it, I guess. Here it comes! Queen's beans! There's not even a nick in it! Friends surprised? Indeed, it's most prized of swords. Even armor of Peronis gets sliced to itsy bits. I think... I'll pass. Pass? So you not have need for? Yeah, it's too strong. Hmm. Noah when Lance and friends to kick buckets? No, what the spark? Same as letting friends die. No, it's not. If friends not fight, <laughs> cannot survive. Sure, but I don't need to use your sword. Then, why Noah not call Blade? It's not of choice, I just can't. False. Riku see through like transparent. <sighs> Noah can call Blade. Just no big desire of fighting spirit. Riku? Hey, is he serious? <sighs> Noah? What the? All this time? Huh? 
if death is not option, should live. Only way is fight like life depends. Thinking of self alone is way of coward. Though, Riku no feeling well. I'm afraid. Of fighting, you mean? Of this world. Hmm. It's so brutal and relentless. And I'm afraid of what we might become. Mate. Ho oh, ho ho! Riku knew Noah was hero material. Huh? It true this sword possess incredible power. Might even rob enemies of many much lives, yes. But only those who understand nature of terror have right to wield. Eh, quoth Master Pon of Riku, anyhaps. <laughs> so, if Noah can call Blade now, can still keep Lucky Seven, maybe in some kind of disguise. In different words, can turn it into sheath. Sheath? Can use it in fights like normal. But if ever push come to shove, time will come when Noah truly need Lucky Seven's strength. Then is only matter of drawing. When I truly need its strength. Exact. If Noah never lose sight of that feeling, one day such time surely come. That is, if I can master it. If felt a master, just give back. Can pick out different one. Ah. Right. Please not to feel specially indebted to Riku. Just take. No hmm. need for overthinkings. <laughs> okay. I accept your offer. Oh, and Riku? What is? Mind if I change the name? Me? Lucky Seven just isn't doing it for me. <laughs> oh. Did you end up picking? The Monado. Huh? Um, Not really. Name. Uh huh. You don't want to say? Or what? Is it that embarrassing? N no, it's not embarrassing. That's not it. <laughs> I'm getting strong emotional vibes here. I wouldn't say emotional per se. Rather, something I miss. You know, you're the second one that's noticed this weapon. Really? Is that something special? It is. And the first? Who was it? She's incredible. And we owe her our lives. This thing here and check ching. Alrighty then, I believe that is where we will end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Jeff the Christian Gamer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe, you may do that by clicking on Very the links provided. Oi. Indeed. If you'd like to check out other videos I've done, you may do that by clicking on the links in this video. I have a Facebook and a Twitter. Check those out to see when I, re when I release new content, and I'll catch you guys next time.